Hey, so I'm going to do um, a run through on the Switcher Studios. If if you have this set up, um, I'm going to try and make it easy for you to uh, get started. Um, the first thing I want to show is uh, um, iPad and and how we have that set up. Um, so here we go. first icon right there you hit that and it'll show that the built-in camera is checked and that's from the iPad so when you lift it up you'll see something there on over here is your uh, audio interface iRig Pro or pre rather just go ahead and turn it to on if you go all the way up that's for phantom power we don't need that okay All right, um, so this is a test that I'm setting up for a switcher. Um, so as you can see, um, with the iRig Pre, um, it's still in the green, but this is very sensitive. So the little knob over here, you have to uh, be careful how, how you turn it. If you show any red over on this bar, then you have to turn it down a little bit. Try and stay in the green and the yellow. Um, so the first thing you want to do when this uh, menu comes up is you want to hit the three lines and then you're gonna it's gonna say knowledge base settings DG mobile recorded media diagnostic data um, hit recorded media that's the first thing you want to do and you want to check and make sure there's nothing on there because it will show it will sh show save videos and the osmos don't work correctly if uh, the storage is full these things keep on popping up just hit not now so you're gonna you would select each item and then you would delete it and then you go back to menu close that and you're gonna hit remote camera mode as you can see I did the same thing with the second camera and I'm gonna hit camera 2 and it's gonna pull that up This little thing right here, we'll go ahead and plug it in to the phone, just like that. I'm going to come up here, and we're going to do this, slide it all the way in. We need to balance it. There's a little knob right there. You're going to loosen that, and you're going to push it. We'll pull it out. This whole thing pulls out or pushes in until it's balanced. All right, well, first let's plug this in because this is going to affect the balancing. So let's turn it around. Okay, so here, right, this is where you plug this 
piece in and that keeps the gimbal will char keep the phone charged and you can keep the gimbal plugged in but um, so here we go back to balancing it that looks pretty balanced tighten the little knob back there okay all right the next part there's a the three lines up at the top go ahead and select that and then it will pop up DJ Osmo Mobile you're gonna select that and it's gonna search alright here's Osmo 1 um, you're gonna select Osmo 1 for on this phone since this is a camera one ID pop back up hit not now so you've selected Osmo 1 you're gonna go back to the menu and you're gonna hit done okay so this phone is just about ready to go the last thing you do is you, you hold this M button down until it comes on and now the gimbal is on go ahead and um, face it face it forward you can control the gimbal with this button right here see how that works so go ahead and bring it around As you can see and if you push up it's going to go up if you push down it's going to go down so as you can see here under sources you got your video and by tapping it, it puts it under preview when you're wanting to um, stream it you would hit the preview but button and it would put it over to here but um, before we can do that we need to go ahead and set up uh, the Facebook stream so what you want to do is you're going to come down here to the select you're going to go to the next that's highlighted for um, the inputs now we're going to go to outputs this is outputs and as you can see Facebook is highlighted so um, you, you can when Facebook is highlighted um, that's for streaming but we're going to go ahead and um, hit this this arrow right here and it's going to connect to Facebook all right um, it's already going straight to the church at New Bern. You're going to type in stream. We'll go ahead and hit test. Then you're going to come down here, put the church. At New Turn. You're gonna um, go ahead and put on the second line test. On the third line, um, uh, the second line would be the title of the um, stream. The third line would be um, message by. Steve Ryan Shield, and you put your own name. And you're going to hit return. And the next line you would put this is for cataloging purposes and keeping track of the date. Go ahead and put 20 for um, the year, but then it's a uh, March, so you're going to put 03 and say that today's the 19th. You're going to put 19, and then you're going to hit that. And you're going to put if you got two sermons that day, the first one would be 01, and then the next time you stream, it'd be 02. And um, hit the keyboard down here, 
and it's ready to hit, hit create live stream. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create live stream for now. It's going to load. And so it's ready to go. Um, when you hit that button right there, it's going to, we'll go ahead and hit that button. See, it'll say live plus record. Now, you still have your video stream under preview. It's not on output live. So all is uh, Facebook is seeing right now is the black screen and hearing my voice. So you're going to go ahead and um, hit preview and live. It's going to put that over there. Um, until you put another camera up, you can also put that right there and, and maybe add that. Um, uh, Pastor Ben, right? You would go ahead to um, broadcast that. You'd hit preview again and it would go over there. But um, Okay, so that takes care of that. So let's go ahead and add the second camera. Go back here to that. Then we're going to come over to the camera. Hold the button down. There, there it comes up. Okay. That screen comes up. All right. You're going to go ahead and hit the home button. Hit the home button again, and it'll bring up this menu. You're going to slide it. And then you're going to select switcher. And that's not supposed to do that. So you're going to go ahead and hit that again. Sometimes if it doesn't work out, just try it again. <laughs> and if worse comes to worse, you may have to reboot the phone. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to hit the three lines. We're going to go to recorded media, and there's a one thing up there that's recorded. We're going to select that, and we're going to put it in the trash can. Now we're going to hit menu again, and we're going to hit close. Now we're going to hit remote camera, and it's going to put camera 2 right there, and we have to select camera 2. See? All right, so as you can see, now we're going to go to the gimbal and hook this one up. So as you can see, um, I've ad added this cam second camera, camera two, to Osmo 2. I balanced it and... Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the three lines again. Hit that. Hit DJ Osmo Mobile. And it's going to search. And I automatically pulled up Osmo 2. Going to select that. Hit Menu again. And then Done. Okay, then you're going to come down here and turn it on. Holding the button down until the screen pops up like that. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and position that. And you can manually do, you can come up here and manually do it with, with this thing. Up, down, left, right. And then for um, zooming in, you would just hit that thing. Okay. So, um, see how the, the phone's crooked? Just by messing with this, sometimes pulling that up, stuff, you can fix it. So, I, I went ahead and just 
held those out a little bit and just positioned the phone a little better in there. So now it's a even with the stage and more of a straight shot. Um, so now that that's turned on, um, we can go back to the um, iPad. And um, I noticed when I came here that um, that pop up popped back up on the f camera one. All you have to do is um, hit not now and that will go away. So. Okay. So you got both cameras going. And now you can switch between them. All right. There you go. There's the second camera. If you want to close it to fall back, just slide that down. And you can go either left or right. And you can set up your shot. And then when you're ready to broadcast it, you just hit right over here. Just like that. And then, um, we can switch between the two scenes. Um, when it's highlighted with red, it means it's broadcast. And if it's highlighted with blue, it's under the preview. See? You can switch back and forth. Um, if you want to put down if you're preaching, just hit that and go over there like that. Hit it again, it will take it off of the preview and then you send the previews over to the broadcast and it removes it. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could do that. Um, for You can click thank you for joining us, unclick that. See, um, here's one that you'll probably use right here for giving um, the the web page. Give online. Um, there we there we go. And just um, by clicking that, you're able to split screen it. Um, um, let's see. Go up here. See, now you got both cameras split. You can go back split it up that way if you want to you can come here do that and put it in a little box so there's all kinds of little things you can do with that to take it off you have to go back and click on it again and just switch cameras it does that um, if you want to say thank you for joining us go ahead and hit that you want to take it off so there's all kinds of features you can do with this um, when you're done recording and of course I, I've been streaming this so I'm gonna I'm done so I'm gonna hit that it's gonna end your video and it production is complete and close out of it all right say you want to stream you want to stream to the school of supernatural ministry you're going to come over here hit that and you're going to um, go up here go back to that all right you're going to hit the icon up here and choose new destination and since the church, uh, or the um, School of Supernatural Ministry is a group page, you have to hit group. OK, 
Okay, it's group. It's gonna. It's on the very top. You're gonna hit that, and you're gonna put in your your stream title and just the way you did on on the um, church's site, and then you're gonna create live stream, and that's how you do that. So we're gonna go back, choose new destination, hit page because the church, um, the super, uh, the church at New Bern is a web is a Facebook page excuse me and hit that and it's right there on the top I'm gonna to hit that it's gonna load up and then you're gonna put in your title and all of that and hit create live stream but since we're not doing that we're gonna close out of that and that's basically it um, if you need to change the um, if you come over here to where these two lines are, say you're out of focus, you can hit you can hit that, the M for manual, and it'll put another line up here and you can work it work it until you get a proper focus. And then you're gonna go ahead and close out of that. You can go back to that. Um, say you, you need to fa you want to change your um, transition. Come over to here. Oh, that's the microphone. Right, right here. Um, it's not it. Let's see where is it. Here it is. It's this one that looks like an hourglass. Right now it's at cut, so it goes straight. You know, it goes straight over like that. If you hit cross dissolve, you hit that gonna just fade into it you can adjust how long it takes to cross over um, so there's all kinds of little things you can do and when you're done you're gonna come back here to the camera to your um, output puts you're gonna uncheck camera 2 uncheck camera 1 you're gonna turn off the eye rig right over here And you're gonna go ahead and hit. You're gonna go ahead and hit this. Hold the button in until it comes. Slide comes up. You're gonna unslide it. So that's off. Make sure it's plugged in for next week so that um, it will charge back up. And then you're gonna. Um, your phones have gone back to that setting. All you have to do is um, hold the button down and slide it up. Can turn the gimbal off. See how it just kind of relaxed. Going to you hold the button down until it turns on or off. There, see how it relaxed. That means it's off. All right. So now you're going to take the cameras off. You're going to unplug these. We used to leave them plugged in all week into that, but um, the directions say not to do that because you don't. It says don't allow your phones to be plugged in while the gimbals are charging. You can plug them in once the gimbals are charged, and it will keep the phones from um, draining. So, so as you can see, as soon as I plug these into the charger, they came back on. So. All you got to do is hold the button in again until the slide comes up like that and just slide it to off. On this one, the ID popped up, hit not now. And hold the button in until the slide comes up and it's off. And those will stay off until we use them again. 
And if somebody wants to, if you want to keep them unplugged and somebody's willing to come in a few days before Sunday and plug them back in, that would be better than leaving them plugged in all week. But uh, we don't need to come in on Sunday morning and find out that the phones are dead and the gimbals. So um, that's, that's it in a nutshell. So as you can see here under sources, you got your video and by tapping it, it puts it under preview. When you're wanting to um, stream it, you would hit the preview but button and it would put it over to here. But um, before we can do that, we need to go ahead and set up uh, the Facebook stream. So what you want to do is you're going to come down here to the select. You're going to go to the next that's highlighted for um, the inputs. Now we're going to go to outputs. This is outputs. And as you can see, Facebook is highlighted. So um, you, you can, when Facebook is highlighted, um, that's for streaming. We're going to go ahead and um, hit this this arrow right here, and it's going to connect to Facebook. All right, um, it's already going straight to the church at New Bern. You're going to type in stream. We'll go ahead and hit test. Then you're going to come down here, put the church at New Burn. Hit return. You're going to um, go ahead and put on the second line test. On the third line, um, 
the second line would be the title of the um, stream. The third line would be um, message by Steve Reinshield, and you put your own name. And you're going to hit return. The next line you would put, this is for cataloging purposes and keeping track of the date, go ahead and put 20 for um, the year, but then it's a uh, March, so you kind of put 03 and say that today's the 19th, you're going to put 19, and then you're going to hit a, that, and you're going to put if you got two sermons that day, the first one would be 01, and then the next time you stream, it would be 02. And um, hit the keyboard down here, and it's ready to hit, hit create live stream. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and create live stream for now. It's going to load. And so it's ready to go. Um, when you hit that button right there, it's going to, we'll go ahead and hit that button. See, so it'll say live plus record. Now you still have your video stream under preview. It's not on output live so all is uh, Facebook is seeing right now is the black screen and hearing my voice so you're gonna go ahead and um, hit preview and live it's gonna put that over there um, until you put another camera up you can also put that right there and, and maybe add that um, uh, Pastor Ben right you would go ahead to um, broadcast that, you'd hit preview again, and it'll go over there. But um, okay, so that takes care of that. So let's go ahead and add the second camera. Go back here to that. Then we're going to come over to the camera. Hold the button down. There, now it comes up. Okay, that screen comes up. All right, you're gonna go ahead and hit the home button. Hit the home button again, and it'll bring up this menu. You're gonna slide it. And then you're going to select switcher. And that's not supposed to do that. So you're going to go ahead and hit that again. Sometimes if it doesn't work out, just try it again. <laughs> and if worse comes to worse, you may have to reboot the phone. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to hit the three lines. We're going to go to recorded media, and there's a one thing up there that's recorded. We're going to select that, and we're going to put it in the trash can. Now we're going to hit menu again, and we're going to hit close. Now we're going to hit remote camera, and it's going to put camera two right there, and we have to select camera two. See? All right, so as you can see, now we're going to go to the gimbal and hook this one up. So as you can see, um, I've ad added this cam second camera, camera two, to Osmo 2. I balanced it and um, and now I'm going to go ahead and come up here to the three lines again. Hit that. Hit DJ Osmo Mobile. And it's going to search. And I automatically pulled up Osmo 2.
gonna select that hit menu again and then done okay then you're gonna come down here and turn it on holding the button down until the screen pops up like that all right I'm gonna go ahead and position that and you can manually do you can come up here and manually do it with with this thing up down left right and then for um, zooming in you would just hit that thing okay so um, see how the the phone's crooked just by messing with this sometimes pulling that up stuff you can fix it I'm gonna have to put the phone down to show to do that but so as you can see as soon as I plug these into the charger they came back on so all you gotta do is hold the button in again until the slide comes up like that and just slide it to off on this one the ID popped up hit not now and hold the button in till the slide comes up and it's off and those will stay off until we use them again and if somebody wants to if you want to keep them unplugged and somebody's willing to come in a few days before Sunday and plug them back in, that would be better than leaving them plugged in all week. But uh, we don't need to come in on Sunday morning and find out that the phones are dead and so aren't the gimbals. So um, that's, that's it in a nutshell.